Good day everyone. Today we have the 2024 Suzuki Jimny 5-door. This is going to be a full in-depth review of the new 5-door Jimny. We will tackle the interior, exterior, and engine details of the Jimny. So, this is Patrick Reyes TV. Let's go and start. Now, the Jimny has your keyless entry system. You have black panel materials on the door sidings. It's all plastic in here. Very rugged feel. Some pockets in here as well for some storage. Door speakers. And the only thing different in here is the chrome handle. But the rest are black materials. On the seats, you have your recliner and your seat position control right over here. And here's the design of the seats. Side curtain airbags as well. There we go. Now, before we go and check out the interior, let's go and check out the exterior first by turning on the headlights, fog lights, and the hazards. Now, the headlights has auto mode as well. All windows are electrically powered, and only the driver's side window is automatic down. The fourth generation Jimny has finally released their much awaited 5 door variant. But before we go to the newest model of the Jimny, let's go back in time and learn how it became the famous Jimny we know today. It all started in 1968 when a small company called Hope Motor Company made a vehicle called Hope Star on 360. And it did not sell very well. A matter of fact, it only had 45 units sold for one whole year. And with this, they decided to sell the Hope Star on 360 to Suzuki that same year. Two years after, Suzuki was able to produce a new model which is the Jimny LJ10. It was a two-door, small-engine, compact off-roader that was pretty much the same structure of a Hope Star on 360. Engine was replaced with Suzuki's very own two-cylinder engine, and this time it had a roof and a door. It was finally a roadworthy car. What's really surprising is that in its first year of release, in 1970, it sold over 5,000 units in just the domestic market. And from then on, the two-door compact affordable off-roader from Suzuki was born. Fast forward to 50 years after, we now have the fourth generation Suzuki Jimny. And this time, it now comes in a five-door. The Jimny's overall characteristics were still retained after all these years. It's still a compact and capable off-roader. It's one of the very few in the market that has this category and still continues to be the best selling in its class. The new Jimny 5-door looks like a modern retro combination and it really looks good for its class. Having that flat, boxy look and a touch of modern necessities all combined into one. Many has been skeptical of the performance of the Jimny, but in my opinion, Suzuki never really marketed the Jimny as a performance on-road. And off-road-wise? Well, it could probably has room for improvement. But what's important is that it still works for the most part, and could do the job done for that off-road adventure. So, is buying one a good choice? Well, technically, if you want all these features in a compact off-roader, then yes, it is. It's iconic, it's easy to drive, easy to maintain, and it's easy to fall in love with. Let's pop the hood and check out the engine.
The Suzuki Jimny GLX comes with the K15B 1.5 liter 4 cylinder gasoline engine which produces 101 horsepower at 6000 rpm and 130 Nm of torque at 4000 rpm. The GLX comes with a 4 speed automatic and the GL comes with a 5 speed manual transmission. Drivetrain is 4 wheel drive and 0 to 100 km per hour is around 12 seconds. Mixed fuel consumption rating is at 14.7 km per liter and a fuel tank capacity of 40 liters. So, let's go and check how she sounds. Now on the inside, you're greeted with a three-spoke steering wheel covered in leather. Now on the left-hand side, you have your selector or your previous and next for the head unit right here, your volume controls and your different modes. You have mute button and info. Now this info right here is for the gauge cluster, which we will tackle on later. And on the right-hand side, you have cruise control. You have accept and decline calls, and voice command. Now the steering wheel could also be adjusted only with the height or tilt, but telescopic is not available for this one. Now on the gauge cluster, it is controlled with this one and this one. So you have average fuel economy your range, average speed, driving time, instant fuel economy, and we go back to the average. And right here on the bottom is your odometer, fuel gauge, and your gear indicator. And on the upper left is your digital clock and your outside temperature. So you have the digital display right here on the middle, but on the right and the left are still analog. You have kilometers per hour and miles per hour on the small portion of the speedometer. And on the left is the tachometer up to 8,000 RPM. On the left hand side, you have controls for the headlight beam, parking sensors, and your headlight washers. And on the bottom part, you have your side mirror controls. Side mirrors are retractable. And your door handle is in here so you have small pockets as I have mentioned earlier and your door speakers there now right here on the middle you have your window controls for the rear there you go and handbrake two cup holders right here this is your four-wheel drive selector and your gear selector and once you put it in reverse you have your rear backup camera and right over here is a storage probably for your phones or your coins you have USB charger in there and your 12 volts power outlet Now here on the middle, you have the window controls for the front door and driver's side is automatic. There you go. And you have traction control and heel descent control right here as well. 
Now, the air conditioning unit is very simple as well. It is automatic. You have temperature control right over here. You have your display screen right in here as well. So, recircular vents is in here, AC button, and your different zones. Fan speed. Front defogger and rear defogger. So, it's very simple to use actually. Um, I, I like the design. Uh, fits the Jimny very well. It gives you that very rugged feel. And it matches the same with on the dashboard. You have this uh, rough finish right here. Very rugged plastic material. And on the head unit, you have a big touchscreen display. And let's see what this one has to offer. Now for the head unit right here, uh, this is the home screen. And everything is well laid out. You have your Bluetooth connectivity right here, your uh, audio video, pair devices, uh, clock, and your fuel economy right over here. So this head unit right here is con uh, connected to the onboard diagnostics to get that reading. So a lot of settings in here for uh, the system settings the audio settings so you have equalizer as well and this is for the connectivity settings or your paired devices and the vehicle info settings well you have alerts for you know, different options and let's try listening to some music and check how the speaker sounds So, uh, right off the bat, the speakers um, sound clear, I would say. Bass is not quite there, but the clarity and the power is there. Probably one of the factors is the body of the Jimny is quite small, and the speakers really punch through everyone's ears. And, uh, you know, it gives a surround sound feeling of uh, those speakers. Considering... This one doesn't have tweeter speakers. It only has door speakers, but there is clarity uh, and vocals through the sound. And so that's for the music. So you have phone connectivity as well. You could have your contacts in here and your paired devices. Voice command as well. And you could turn off the display if you want to, and it will just display the clock and the date and this would not turn off the music you could still drive and listen to some music and have this display right here this is not to distract you and give you a better view of where you're driving at and you have rear view mirror quite standard map lights window visors so you would have to depend on the light right here. Window visors does not come with built-in lights. Everything solid plastic right here. It's very typical of off-road vehicles to be like this. The FJ feels the same way. Everything is uh, plastic. This is uh, one advantage when you use an off-road and you know, Sometimes the, the, it's not just the exterior that gets dirty, the interior also gets dirty and it's easier to clean with plastic materials on, you know, the plastic panels inside. So let's go and check out the rear doors. And this is what's new with the all new Jimny. It has a rear door now. So on the door sidings, you get that plastic materials as well. You have window control and your door speakers right here. Chrome accent on the door handle. And the rest is all black plastic. And on the seats, you have the same material as well in the front. This is foldable as well. Very easy to fold.
Now, on the back, the legroom is quite narrow, but it's bearable. And headroom is quite okay. I have no problems uh, with the headroom. But I think uh, it would fit only two big adults like me on the back. So you wouldn't expect to have a comfortable ride for three adults in the back of the Jimny. But nonetheless, it's still good that we had we now have an option of the rear door so um access to the rear is now much more comfortable compared to the previous gymnies that we had now the seats right here don't have any armrest or whatsoever very plain on the back no chargers in here as well but you have cup holders and you have this bulge right here for the differential or probably the exhaust and here's the view of the 2024 Suzuki Jimny 5 door so as you can see from the shape in here it is very straightforward very boxy feel on the inside and you know it gives you that macho feeling of, a, of an off-roader even though the Jimny is quite small compared to its, you know, uh, competitors, the Jimny is really made to be a very drivable off-roader, if you know what I mean. Now, this is an off-roader that, you know, it's easy to drive everywhere. Parking is not a problem. Maneuver is not a problem, you know, and uh, it, it could do off-road. And uh, that's what Jimny really is. Okay, so let's go and check out the cargo area. Now you have a rear door that opens sideways. Of course, it has spare tire on the back. And in here, you have a decent space for cargo storage. Um, the seats could also be folded down if the seats aren't enough for you. But I think... As you can see, there's a lot of pro mats in here, and you have a gist of how big this is. And in here, you have power outlet as well, ambient light, and these are for your accessory holes. These could be opened or removed. If you want some accessories put in here because the Jimny really has a lot of aftermarket options and you could really modify this vehicle it's a very good vehicle for you to uh, start with uh, in modifying for the 4x4 and uh, as, as I have said earlier you could always fold down the seats for more space this folds down all the way and it's that easy So once again guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the full to review of the 2024 Suzuki Jimny 5 door. There's a lot more to come so please do subscribe, share, and like my videos. Once again, this is Patrick Reyes TV signing out.